You should never remove somebody else's motorcycle helmet after an accident. But if you had to because the person wearing the helmet asked you to, then this is how you do it. If that person is unconscious, you first want to check to make sure they're breathing. And if they're breathing, you want to wait for the EMTs to show up because they are way more qualified than you or I. Alright, so I got Julian here with me. He's going to be my test dummy today. So removing a helmet in an emergency situation actually takes two people and four hands. The first person needs to stabilize the helmet just like this. Just hold on to it and make sure it doesn't move. Locate the straps and the cheek pads. And if the cheek pads have an emergency pull tab like this, that's what you're going to want to yank on. If not, you're going to want to reach in here and try to pull it out manually. While the other person's stabilizing the helmet, all you're going to do is yank on the emergency tabs, undo the chin strap, and stick two hands into the helmet like this to stabilize the person's head and neck. And the second person will pull up and remove the helmet just like so. And at this point, you should have a helmet that looks like this. If you're not a trained professional, you could risk injuring somebody's spinal cord. So again, 